Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to episode 9 of the Terminal Gamers. Let's play Pokemon Y 2. I forgot to add that 2 in there. But anyways, last time we took down these fishermen, got the mystic water from the side here. And we need to take on Coldrest today. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. That song. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon on his crossel with the device on the He's gonna talk about the device he created that technically wakes up these crossel and makes them go away. Those crossel, were they just lying here out of energy with their boulders on their backs? Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Tell you to you. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. TGYT, I'll remember that. I will test you to see if you are a trainer who can bring about the hidden potential of Pokemon. And so we've got a battle against this random guy whose name is Coldris. It starts out with a Magnemite. Good thing I got Captain Crunch out front. So as a Sandstorm, my pink Captain Crunch. It'll be much easier for Captain Crunch, like being his home turf and all that stuff. This thing should go down in one shot. Okay, it's got the sturdy ability. Oh, it doesn't have a sturdy ability. He just lived with one hit. The sand tomb should kill him. There we go. So Magnemite goes down, no problem. Clink is up next. Do I want to switch over? Yup, Bruno could do a good job handling this. Yeah, I didn't train up anything from the last episode. I will train up once we get to the next city though. <coughs> Probably to level 30 or so because that gym is uh, pretty strong. I remember it being one of the more tougher gyms. And a level 23 clink. It's at 23, okay. That shows we've got a little bit of training to do. And I went for the ember here just to see how much damage that would do. And that did nothing. Showing you how much of a special defensive Pokemon clink is. So I'm just gonna tap down Fire Fang and boom, down goes clink. 434 experience to Bruno, and that's it. So it was an easy fight against Colrest there. So he's gonna give us a protein, I think that boosts defense. So that's it, and he's gonna go away, and we are going to follow in that way. And we got a double battle coming up. But first, there's another major thing I want to check out. It is a Monday. So there... Oh man! There's a bravery out here because it's a Monday. So in white 2, if you're playing this on a Monday, there'll be, there would be a bravery out here. And so... Yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Not for the team though. Braviries. I, I don't like a bravery too much. Because, one, for one thing, it's a level 25 and it's super tough to train up. And two, that is just stupid to use. And we've already got a fire type. And ooh, good thing there. The facade missed. Oh, that might have been the end of the road for Captain Crunch. So hopefully the Darumaka goes down at the end of this turn. Okay, he goes down now itself. Moxie is going to boost attack. And that's it. You know what? I'm not going to catch this. I need Thunder type to paralyze and everything. So leave it. Not not interested right now. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if we can take down these twins. Let's get Eve along with Bruno out front. You know what? I'm thinking let's get Captain Crunch. 
Alright, because Captain Crunch has got the amulet coin, so it's gonna double our money. So we're gonna do that. Twin Stara and Val. And we really shouldn't have gotten Captain Crunch. I'm pretty sure the Cottony has Mega Drain because I know that because I use the Cottony in my black and white gaming not made playthrough. I'll go over to Bruno right here because he needs the experience. Or I could have just gone over to Buckbeak and air cuttered these two into oblivion. But no, Bruno would be a better choice. Wow, that did nothing. See, I was pretty sure it had Mega Drain. <coughs> so I totally called that move there. Okay, both of them have Mega Drain. So they're, they're being really sneaky about this. So first up, I'm gonna bite the Petalil and then Fire Fang the Cottony. Speed? Is that speed drop? Yeah, it's a speed drop. So Cottony goes down, no problem. This battle is taking quite a bit of time though. Boom, that's it. Battle done. Let's keep another Pokemon out front. Let's keep Captain Crunch out front. Leveling him up would be nice. So, here's a rich boy. So, I recommend you guys use your amulet coin Pokemon against these four guys. Because they, they are they're usually easy to beat and they give out loads of money. And using your amulet coin, you can double that money towards your advantage. So yeah. Let's sand tomb him first. And I won't do anything. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I think a takedown from him would do a lot of damage to me right now. So good thing we brought loads of fresh waters for the desert. Because the desert's so hot. So we're gonna quickly heal up Captain Crunch. And work up. Okay, that move is dangerous. Okay, he's setting up to do huge, huge, huge amounts of damage to our team. I'm gonna keep assuring sing him now. <coughs> Boom, that did much more damage than Sand Tomb did. So this turn could possibly be the last if Cam Crunch doesn't flinch. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Crunch. Oh. No! It has like one health. If it uses take down. No! Captain Crunch! Ah! What? So we got zero experience for that. Gosh darn it. Not stupid. Okay, just done healing up my Pokemons. And it's pretty stupid how we didn't get any experience whatsoever from that fight. But we are from this one. <coughs> it's probably got a Lipart or something. Because the other guy had hurt here. Yep, Lipart. Called it. Oh, I just completely revived this guy. I still can't believe how 
We did not get any experience from the hardier. I'm pretty sure Captain Crunch would have leveled up and we could have got these guys. It's okay, anyways, I'll be training everyone up to a certain level sooner or later. It's going I think it'll be 30. Level 30 once we reach the next place. Next gym. Anyways, Captain Crumbs giving these guys a tough time. Uh oh. <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to heal up. This is like the fourth freshwater music on Captain Crunch. Gosh, Crunch. It's gonna be so demanding. And the 1030 is going to easily get Captain Crunch up to level 23. And a good chunk towards 24. Let's get Bruno out front now. Unless we see any more ladies or those trainer classes. Okay, and if you're gonna heal my Pokemon, you're particular about speed, you're particular about attack. Okay, these guys are one of those. Those people who feel like they want to meet this particular type of Pokemon and then battle you, not battle, give you items over it, and why won't you fight me, dude? There we go. We got a fight against Backpacker Rach Rachel with our Woobat. So let's go ahead. Okay. Just a minute. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fire fang this thing. That did quite a lot of damage. Hmm. Fire Fang should take this thing out and hopefully get us to 23 because it's a Woobat. Alright! Bruno's up to 23 as well. Wants to learn takedown. Let's get rid of a roar for that. About to send in Pidov, let's let's stay in with Bruno. And take down the Pidov with a very powerful hit. And so then gains the speed of Pidov almost down. And down goes the speed of we spam two takedowns, I don't know why. That battle was quite easy. So now let's continue on our way. Check out this place. Looks like we've got a battle. Oh no. It's a bright powder. I think that's something that lowers accuracy. <clears throat> and if you remember, we got the um, dowsing machine from Bianca a while back. I'm gonna go ahead and register that right there. So in case there's any items out here, we can easily get them. 
and there seems to be one in these ruins. Oh, this is the place. It's a green shard. Definitely check that out. And there's an item down here. Stardust and then let's check out this building. Yo Hey, thank you. So this lady will heal you up and then you'll be good to go. So there I got healed. Any items? No? Just the bravery over there. Oh, there's an item down here. And there's a yellow shard over here. And there's a battle! <coughs> Pokefan, Norbert. And it's Growlithe. I think we have Bruno up front ourselves. Yeah. Let's take down. Does he have intimidate? Nope. He's got the other ability, which I don't know what it is. The reversal is gonna do like 10 damage to me, man. Okay, did 4 damage. Now let's take down. Should do a ton of damage. Reversal depends on his HP, so that's gonna do some damage there. Okay. And Bruno wins! Oh gosh. Norbert, that's cheap. That's called being cheap. You we don't use super potions in battles which aren't gym battles. Bruno's only at 25% HP and destroys the Growlithe. That's okay. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna quickly switch over to our boy. Come on, Fidio. You should do a good job of... Oh, I don't know why I used wine with... Come on. Okay, that did nothing. Leap grenade should knock him out now from here. Three forty four experience points get Monfield you're up to twenty four. He wants to learn Mega Drain, so I'll just quickly take out Wine Whip for that. A wine Whip. We, let's go ahead and check out this house, which has three people in it. Citrus berries, nice. So go ahead, get those. Is there no way to get in that small gap? Nope. Okay. So I guess that's it for exploring the right side. Ooh, an item. A hyper potion. That's nice. Oh, there's an item back there. So let's go and get that. TM28 day. Perfect. We can teach that to our sandal, Captain Crunch. There's a hidden item here as well. 
It's a red shirt. Those things are a little are quite useful in the drift rail city. There's a new move tutor who teaches you moves in exchange for shards. And I'm pretty sure that was Growlithe. Yeah. It's a pocket toy. I think we got one of these earlier. So let's get out. <clears throat> And continue on our way up. Yo! Backpacker Roland and his Riolu. Too bad it isn't a Lucario. Oh my gosh, I forgot Bruno's on critical health. So I'm just gonna switch out here and then... Oh gosh, I so badly... I, I really forgot what happened to Bruno right there. So Bug Week is in to take care of what Bruno couldn't. Ow. Okay, that didn't do much. Level 21, it learns force form. I'm pretty sure it does. Boom! Riolo goes down. You don't mess with the bug beak. And Bruno's not going to go up a level, obviously. Because there's a timber here. And this thing should be really easy to take out in one shot. What? No! Come on, Bugby. He got the critical hit. What? We gonna have to finish things up. Oh gosh. Now I need to use two fresh waters. There we go, we've restored pretty much everyone. Then let's go ahead and teach the move Dig to Sandile. Let's get rid of Sand Much Lap. Much Lap would be better. So we've got rid of Mudslap and got ourselves the TM for Dig. Let's also teach Dig to Eve. And remove Sand Attack right there. So now we've got Dig on some Pokemon, now we're good to go. And up here is Join Avenue. I forgot to check for hidden items. So let's go ahead and just scout again. So up this way is the desert resort, I know that. Up this way is Nimbasa City. Next place where this uh, we're headed to. So anyways, right here you'll see a manager of an institution in a sort of a dilemma, a dilemma, so he's pretty perplexed about what he needs to do. Or was what I just said too exorbitant for our puny human brains to fathom? Just kidding. What is my favorite phrase? I don't know. I always say, yo, what's going on everyone? So, let's say, yo. Because I like that. Yo! I like saying it. Yeah, yo. Yo! 
Oh gosh. Let's just use our fingers right there in the touch screen. Um, there we go. What do you say when something truly moves your heart? I say, Dium. So let's go ahead and drop down Dium. Yo, Dium. I knew it. You are the one. Oh, yeah. So this avenue now belongs to us. Call me PG bro. With the UH, not the O. PG bro. PG bro. Now that you are the develop, the guy in charge of the development and stuff, and bye. So that's all, and we are now. At Nimbasa City. Listen to that music. Ooh. What? This music. Oh, oh. A thunderstone. Nice. But no, I'm not gonna be evolving my Eevee into a Jordion. Eevee is my Vaporeon, so no, not the Jordion. <coughs> I just came here for the sake of showing you guys you know, some medals and stuff. So let's quickly... And so talk to this guy, he'll give you 10 red shards, like, oh my gosh! These things are so hard to find and he's real nice about it. Finally, we'll just do what we came here to get done, that is get our Pokemon healed up. Sorry if you can actually see how I'm playing the game right now from the back and my fingers shaking, etc. I'm just in, not in my normal recording area. I'm in a more light, I'm in a more bright environment right now. And I have no way to make it more dim, so that's why <clears throat> we're in this situation. But now that we've got healed up, we're gonna go and check out the desert resort. Oh, I'll just stock up for some items from the mart and see you guys in a second. Okay, now I'm fully stocked up on items which we need. Except fresh water, I can't seem to find vending machines anywhere. So now we're gonna go ahead and explore the desert resort. Okay, maybe I should get off my cycle for this bit. Hey, yo! The Relic Castle! They talk about the Relic Castle that is in the Desert Resort and whoops, sorry about that. So this lady right here is a nurse. She's gonna stop your Pokemon Center visits. Let's go ahead and get into battle. <clears throat> Mouse Maria with her clapper. Okay, I just add some water there. I'll go ahead and fire Fang. This reversal wouldn't do much. Yep, yeah, it's a clapper. It would have horrible defenses. So it was, in my opinion, it was defenseless. Oh, giggity giggity giggity. Giggity giggity. I really can't explore that. I really can't imitate those guys. Ooh. We got some hot items. 
So let's. We bought a bunch of super repels. And let's bring Eevee out front. Eve the Eevee. He's only at level 22. It's a star piece. Nice. And another item. Oh, we got a battle. I'm just gonna keep biting this thing. It's, it's a defensive Pokemon, so that wouldn't be too good an idea. This might take a little bit of time. I think it'll rather quick attack. And see you guys in a second, because I'm getting a call from someone. Okay, so I answered that call. We're back. Let's quick attack this thing. It's gonna continue avoiding it. Come on. Uh oh. Whoa, gosh. And maybe go with another fresh water. Come on, Eve. Please don't miss. Or we'll have to go. Come on, dig. See how much damage that does. Are you serious? It's better land. He didn't even use sand attack. What stupidness is this? Thank you. Gosh! Oh! Down goes Eve! Couldn't care less! Damn! That was such a pain! I think I'm gonna just clean up everyone to level 30 as soon as I'm done with this. Anyways, we got an item. It's a blue shard. So there's a ranger down here which I just skipped. The harshness of a desert. I don't know man, I bought plenty of fresh, fresh water, so... Darumaka! Hey! Is do we have Captain Crunch out front? No, it's Bruno. I'm gonna take him down. Boom! I'm gonna take him down again. Like so. And... Oh! The sandstorm reduces accuracy. I'm I'm starting to figure out the sandstorm reduces accuracy. Oh. Recoil damage that for Bruno. If we can get everyone to level 24 by the time we get out of this desert, that would be nice. And rangers always give you a berry once you're done beating them up. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and bring back our dead Eevee back to life. Maybe I should hand the experience share to Eevee. Again. 
he isn't too good as good enough as the others yet and he he can he definitely needs a little bit of experience on his own so instead we're going to get captain crunch the beast out front and continue running along with our dowsing machine and get ourselves a blue shard straight up we have got an item and it's a red shard and I don't know how we were managed to get away from the hiker for so long but let's battle him now so backpacker Walt he's got Disney on his team and someone's at the door, but I don't care. Whew. I hate how it's Sandile versus Sandile. And my dog's going crazy as well. Thank you, Captain Crunch. Now, let's hit. Boom! You got some damage to yourself. Oh my god, that's a lot. And this should kill him. Yep, Sandile goes down. Moxie will boost my attack, but that's not required because, yeah. Oh my gosh. There's a ground gym. That's nice. Always handy to have one of those items. <clears throat> Let's get Eve out front, seeing as he's got the move bite. Let's get into battle. Let's just keep biting and hope that a lot of damage will be dealt. Oh my god! Okay, that was a critical hit. I, I was just thinking, Eve, how on earth did you manage to do that? <coughs> mm, that's more like it. My ability became mummy, so. I don't see what that does. And Bite should now take out the Yamas. So Yamas goes down no problem. And Eevee, you know what, let's keep Eve up front not to fight the, the psychic dudes because now, look at that, Eve's up to 23. Yo. But otherwise, let's get Bruno out front. Try to get him up to 24. And hit out that dowsing machine. We gotta go up. And get a super repel. That's nice, because mine was about to run out. We got an item out back. A hard scale. And let's enter the relic castle. And this is really fun. And this music as well. Let's put Eevee out front.
For this guy, okay. Maybe there's some hidden items out here. Nope, just the trainer. Pokemon like sheesh. Home Gloss is kind of a dangerous move. I, it is attack and accuracy. That should do half damage. Okay, just on the half. Oh! No! I was thinking there was some. There was going to be one of those climaxes. A climax in which Eve dies. And now that Eve's dead, I don't even think she gets experience. He gets experience, rather. And he has dig. Hooray! I don't care. Oh wait, this might just kill me because he has an attack boost. No way. Are you joking? Bug week. I'm gonna air cutter. Come on. I hate you, River. For life. Let's keep going with the air cutters and kill this Wilbur, yeah! Oh, that was for both the Pokemon of my new kill, you loser. Oh gosh, what an... what? That was an annoying Pokemon if there ever was one. And looks like a dowsing machine has picked up an item, but let's go into this hidden alcove area. Get ourselves a Max Ether. down here get ourselves a firestone nice ooh 
gosh, how did you see so far? And I really need to heal up here. You do I I hope we've got the Captain Crunch out front. Yep, we've got Captain Crunch. Maybe he can level up to level 24. Dig onto the ground, get back up, and destroy him. Boom! What? That's stupid. Assurance should kill him right here, and then that's gonna be it. And 410 experience points, okay. Captain Crunch, you're up to level 24. I really need to run across the desert and get my minions healed, my Pokemans. There we go. We are all healed up and... Oh! Now let's run all the way back. Oh, hello. Stardust. I can see those big bucks rolling in. With another green shirt. Wow, this place has so many items. Yo, check that out, it's so cool, dude. That view there. I'm pretty sure there should be more trainers in the rally castle. Let's try to check. Can we go around the thing? Okay, we can't talk to that guy. Ah! Oh! Darn. Yeah, this is pretty much all there is in the relic castle. So I'll see you guys in a second at Nimbasa City. Looks like you forgot a trainer. And of course I ran into her while we were skipping parts out, so... Yeah, I guess we were meant to battle. Whoa! Oh man, I thought Captain Crunch would be out front. Who put you out front, Eve? Oof! Oh, you got dig. That's right. Ooh, flavors! Not too hot. Actually, not. That's really hot. But dig should do a sizable amount of damage. Boom! Eve, you beast. And another roster. And we got ourselves a yellow shirt. See you at Nimbasa. Yo, we're back in Nimbasa.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time in the next episode. Peace out. Ooh, can you see both my fingers showing the peace sign or this is the peace sign for you? Anyways.